Welcome back to Houston Life. Chronic pain, whether from injury or illness, can affect our physical and emotional well-being. And surgery doesn't always solve the problem. Our next guest says if you repair tissues, you can resolve inflammation, and it can all be done by using stem cells. Dr. John Trowbridge with Health Choices Now is here to explain. And Dr. Trowbridge, first of all, I've got to ask you, what are stem cells and where are you getting yours from? Oh, gosh, that's a great question, and I'll tell you why. If you think of stem cells like a seed, Okay, you plant your seeds and they grow into a particular plant, okay? But the stem cells have been with us since we were being developed in the very beginning, okay? And they now are nested in our tissues in order to repair us when, when we get injured. Well, stem cells are different than, than just this. They can become any kind of tissues. They can differentiate, they can make more of themselves, more seeds and they can make more tissues for repair. So they regenerate. They regenerate, and that's why the name regenerative medicine. So it's not just one seed, it is one that can become many. And just to clarify, because you know, it, oftentimes there's yes. a bit of controversy when people talk about stem cells. Oh, yes. Nobody is hurt in the harvesting no, no, of no. these cells. There's none of that going on. 20 years ago, there was all that controversy and such. Ours are harvested from umbilical cords at scheduled cesarean section deliveries. They're not paid for, so there's no incentive for it. The women go through a very intensive screening process, and the cells are certified, they are processed by a tissue bank, a federally registered tissue bank. And when they come, they literally have their, their diploma. We know exactly what they You've are. You've got one They're of those fresh. over there? Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's one like this, and it's just, it, it says basically they're smart, they're safe, they're reliable, they're easy, they're ready to go to work for you. And the work that they do for you is very simple. They look for the inflammation inside your body. Inflammation is pain, mm -hmm. and that's how we feel it. And they find those areas to heal your tissues. So, doctor, can you describe to us a little bit the process then? I mean, because, again, as we mentioned in the open here, when someone is in chronic pain, right. that can, I mean, you, you say that that can ruin their lives. Oh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't just run your life. It, it ruins, ruins it. If you have just a short period of pain, no big deal. Get some medications. But, you know, all drugs are risky. Surgery is even more risky. The problem is how do you take care of it then rather than suffer? Mm -hmm. Well, if you inject the stem cells, it's a structural repair. It's incredible how much they find the problem, they fix it. Now, you know, there's a lot of boasting about stem cells. They say, well, it can fix everything, it can do this and that. It's not proven. You have very specific reasons to use it. And over the last 25 years, that's been very interesting. But the new ones that we're using, well, I say it's not your father's Oldsmobile. Well, you, have a, you have your own story with how you got introduced to stem cells and, and what it did for you. Absolutely. I was at a conference in Florida and got out of the back seat of the car, twisted my knee. I had fallen five years earlier and surgery, all that sort of stuff. I then went ahead, uh, getting out of the car, intense pain, limping. My friend sits down at the dinner table 10 minutes later, and I said, what's new? And he tells me about these. They had just come out. They're just out 18 months now. This is new stuff, not your father's old mobile, okay? And I called the, uh, the representative and said, can you get me some? He did. I put them in my knee, and I mean, the pain went away. That was How 18 fast? months like, ago. Like pretty quick, right? Uh, uh, before I had the needle out. There's no Whoa. lidocaine, there's no pain pills, there's no morphine, nothing. It's the cells instantaneously going to work. That's how powerful they are. Not your father's Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile. Let's talk about the book uh, sure. very quickly before we bring out some more guests. Right. Failure is not an option is the title. Yes. Where to get that? Well, actually for the last 20 years, we've used the slogan, when life is your choice, failure is not an option. And of course, we're from NASA country here in Houston. Yeah. And we know that failure is not an option because, you know, some of those are terminal failures. Oh, yeah. I was talking to a friend today who was telling me about a patient. He was recommending to come see me, and he said, oh, it's too late. They took off my leg. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I'm in the salvage business. I, I get people fixed. I get people better. And to hear stories like that is crazy because we've got too many technology stem cell is the most recent one and it's well described in the book here your questions are answered well you mentioned getting people better and two people were about to meet you helped get better rick barrett and dan pepak are here to share their stories about stem cell treatment guys on come out. on out you're like brand new men yes. even though we didn't know you before <laughs> So guys, I, Rick, why don't we start with you? Tell us uh, what you were experiencing before you went to see Dr. Trowbridge. Okay, um, I had a football injury to the hip, 
that put me down on the turf in high school. It's hurt ever since. And uh, ten years since. Yeah, yeah. Ten years since. Yeah. Ten years ago. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Trowbridge uh, suggested the stem cell shot to it, and uh, he, he gave me the shot. Probably three weeks to four weeks later, I wasn't locking up anymore. I could actually walk around the block without stopping. Did and, you notice uh, like less pain right away? No, it takes a little bit of time, time. Um, but uh, maybe two weeks and then better, better, better. Now walk around, no, no pain, no, no anything. So, so today you don't experience any of those symptoms None. that you did before? None. Well, no, there's a bit more of a story to that. But then we just did my knees. My no, knees. No, let's oh, talk about the oh, hay baler. Oh, falling off the tractor yeah. and the hay baler. Yeah. Why yeah. are you uh, falling <laughs> off a tractor and a hay baler? That's what we all do. <laughs> uh, that re injured it. Uh, I went back to him to uh, see what we should do. He said nothing. Just uh, just let it do its work. And sure enough, it did repair. And we went right back to normal again. Dan, let's get your story. What were your symptoms before? I suffered from chronic diabetic foot wounds. And at the time, I was going to a local wound clinic where I'm from in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. For three and a half years, every other week, I went and the doctors would debride my wound and rewrap it. And they actually became frustrated like I did because my A1Cs were always good in a healthy range. My wounds were clean. They couldn't understand why I was not healing. If this is a very compliant patient who wouldn't heal. Mm. And I found out about this cellular therapy and wanted to give it a try. And the doctor at the wound clinic actually agreed to let me try this. Well, when the cells, we ordered the cells, I paid for them. When they showed up at the clinic, administration rejected the order. They wouldn't let them treat me oh. with it. Wow. So what happened was eventually I went to, I, the doctor gave me the cellular therapy later. My foot healed within three weeks. Wow. I was so impressed with the cellular therapy, I went to work for the company. 18 months ago, this new product was released, this new cellular therapy that Dr. Trowbridge was just talking about. That's how I met Dr. Trowbridge uh, here in Texas, being from Pittsburgh. Uh, the science behind it, uh, the technology behind it, it's without a doubt cutting edge therapy for cellular therapy. And doctor, I mean, these testimonials are pretty powerful examples of pretty what common. stem cells can do pretty for common. people. I actually went to Boise, Idaho to visit their laboratory and talk with their PhDs and such. This is the future. For this people, is cutting edge. For people out there, though, who still have questions about this, right. though, or maybe wondering, right. uh, you have a seminar that's coming, coming up, in. right? Coming up on the 24th, Saturday, 10 to noon, just north of Kingwood Drive. Okay, and there's the info there right on the screen. So it is the Courtyard Marriott, as you mentioned, right. on US 59. So if people want to, what's going to happen at the seminar? You'll just answer people's oh, questions and sort of oh. stem cells one on one? Dog and pony show. You know, there's a lot of misinformation out there, Derek. Yeah. It's just crazy that people try to make lots of claims that really aren't valid. What we do know works, we do that. What we don't, we just say we don't know. But we're looking into it. And, and we're going to have a lot of fun for two hours there. And then I'm going to talk about other treatments we do for another two hours. We want to make sure that folks do know how to yes. get in touch with you, Dr. Trowbridge. Yes. You can call 1-800-FIX-PAIN, or you can also visit healthchoicesnow.com. Guys, thank you so much for sharing your Great. story, Dr. Trowbridge. Thank you for thank you. sharing the new technology with yeah, us. Yeah, and Dan and Rick, thanks for stopping by. Rick, stay away from tractors and hay balers. Yes. <laughs> when we come back, everybody, a